We may not get much right on here, but for this one, we were spot on like exactly down to the pretty much exact number and all. Now, y'all remember yesterday, uh, it came out that the Baltimore Ravens were actually two mil over the cap. Because Eric DaCosta has been swiping that car left and right. Hey, we loved it. We love it. I appreciate it. Um, but the Ravens, as of yesterday, they had to get down under the cap uh, by midnight yesterday. So there were some moves that had to be made. We knew that there was going to be some kind of restructure coming. Now, what we said in the video yesterday, we said the first people they always go to, Marlon Humphrey and Ronnie Stanley. And we said they might go to Lamar Jackson too, but we talked about Marlon Humphrey being one of the first people they go to. Who they go to? Marlon Humphrey. We also talked about how we expected them to open up seven mil in cap space so they could be about five mil under the cap. Because since they were two mil over, if they opened up seven mil, then that would put them five mil under. Listen to these numbers. Listen to what the Ravens did. So it says they obviously went to Marlon Humphrey. So we got that one. But with Marlon Humphrey's restructure, they created 7.536 mil in much needed cap space. So the Ravens went from two about two million over the cap to 5.3 mil under so we were spot on baby let's go but anyway it, it, it ain't no big deal uh and it said barring a rash of injuries that will likely be enough to cover practice squad elevations and in-season injury replacements would need more for trades so i know there were a lot of people that uh were thinking like oh man what what are they going to use the money for what, what are they trying to make a move are they trying to sign somebody and no 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 they they not trying to sign anybody well actually i can't say that you never know and you know eric DeCosta always looking for defensive players to trade for and whatnot but i think for the baltimore ravens it's just it's just money for a rainy day that's they always like having that money around for a rainy day they could create more if they need but for now it's just marlon humphrey uh, that they restructured and that five mil is just is just in case money like Brian McFarlane talked about uh, Raven salary cap on Twitter if you want to follow him uh, it's for practice squad elevations for injury just in case you got to sign somebody else due to somebody getting hurt or something like that it's stay ready so you ain't got to get ready money now if you want to get ready in an even bigger way, then you're you going to have to set a little more money to the side or whatnot. But this money is not for no big major moves or whatnot. Now, again, not ruling those out because Eric DaCosta said it. He said it the other day, like, hey, we want to be in a position to where we have enough cap space to make a trade at the deadline. Now, with him saying that, um, it doesn't even necessarily mean that the trade has to happen. It has to wait for the deadline to happen. Because the deadline is what is it used to be week eight. I think now it's like week 10 or something. I forget when the trade deadline is, but whenever it is, uh, that's just the deadline. That's when it has to happen by. But Eric Costa and the Ravens, they ain't got to wait. If they see a move to be made, if they see somebody to be had for right player, right price, then, that, hey, go for it. Go for it. You ain't got to wait. Now, with the trade deadline, though, um, as the deadline approaches and, and you get closer to it, and if a team really wants to move off a player, then that deadline could actually help you because that deadline could possibly lower the asking price for whoever that said player may be. Uh, because teams would be like, man, we wanna, really want to get off this player. We want to come off of this player. We really want to move him, but we ain't got no takers right now. You know what? Let's come down on our asking price. So that could help you out. But at the same time, deadlines, they spark action. And with deadlines, it could have a lot of other teams interested in that said player. And that could spark them to actively be like, you know what? Let's raise our offer. Let's raise our offer because we compete with these other teams for this said player. Let's increase our offer. So it could also make it worse. So it's, it's all just a big gamble. Uh, it's, it, 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 that's all it is really with trades because you never know how stuff is going to work out. You never know if teams are going to end up being hot on this player once they find out that you're interested in him. That's why teams... Not just the Ravens, because like, I was getting ready to say the Ravens, but a lot of teams, they like trying to hold stuff down. Well, not the Cowboys. Cowboys, they let all their business out all the time. But <laughs> Ravens with Eric DaCosta, uh, they like to hold stuff down. They did a lot with Ozzie Newsom too, because there would be a lot of times when we would find out about a trade either right when it happened or, say, for instance, it didn't go through. And this happened with Eric DaCosta, too. We, we find out, like, after the fact, oh, Ravens, were, they were interested in that player? Oh, man, we, we could have got him. Oh, man, that's tough. So that was uh that's it. So with Marlon Humphrey, shout out to him for uh, always always being ready. <laughs> like Marlon, again, Marlon Humphrey, 
he and again he's not losing money now because I know there was somebody who thought that um they put in the comment section when we mentioned Lamar Jackson as a possible candidate that they could go to to restructure. They were like, hold on, if if, if Lamar uh, if EDC asked Lamar to take a pay cut, he might look at him kind of funny. Like, no, 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 it's not a it's not a pay cut. It's not a pay cut at all. They just moving money around. They're restructuring the deal in a different way. Uh, so just moving it so they have some extra money right here, right now. They still got to pay the money to the player. They're just pushing it back a bit. That's it. Um, now, speaking of Marlon Humphrey, uh, he on the, the Punchline podcast with him and Jack Settlement. Shout out to both of them, too, by the way. Uh, he listed his top five cornerbacks in the NFL. And I thought this was interesting because two of these guys could have been his teammates. And almost were his teammate. And one of them, a lot of Ravens fans have been hoping, becomes his teammate. So, uh, Marlon Humphrey, top five cornerbacks. Uh, is And you know what? I appreciated his humility because he did not list himself. I said, All right, Marlon. Okay, I see you. But anyway, um, his top five cornerbacks was number one, Pat Sertan. Uh, number two, Jalen Ramsey, who you know the Ravens wanted some years ago. At the first, they wanted to draft him. But they didn't want to give up the extra, what, fourth round pick, I think. And then they wanted to trade for him a couple years back, but that didn't end up happening. Then the Rams got him, and, and we ended up with Marcus Peters, and that worked out. Uh, but Jalen Jalen Ramsey, ooh. Jalen Ramsey, Marlon Humphrey, ooh. Anyway, um, so number one, Pat Sertan. Number two, Jalen Ramsey. Number three, who a lot of Ravens fans want the Ravens to trade for, Jaya Alexander from the Packers. And then number four, Jets, uh, Sauce Gardner. Uh, and then number five, somebody who was almost a Baltimore Raven this offseason, Darius Slay. Ooh, man. I remember when that news first came out. I didn't believe it. I, th I thought it was a lie, but Darius Slay actually said it himself. I was like, whoa, okay. Let's see, Eric DaCosta. Hey, Eric, this, 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 this 2023 Eric DaCosta? Yeah, this, this is the one that we like right here. This is the best version of Eric DaCosta right here. The previous version, they were cool, but this is the best version of himself. Eric DaCosta stepping out and stepping into that spotlight like, oh, then I got this. So keep it up, EDC. We love it. But team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. It's football on tonight. It's a regular season game on tonight. Still got some huge, big channel announcements on the way very, very soon. Going to drop those over the next day and change maybe. Y'all will see that real soon because I want y'all to know exactly what's going on. I want y'all to be updated on everything uh, and all the changes that's going to be on the way on this channel. I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a thing. Turn your notifications on too so YouTube could tell you when we drop a video because there's a lot going on. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank you for supporting like y'all have been. Team, keep it clean. We out, baby.